He was just seven months old, a baby boy who died from SIDS. And just a week after burying him, his parents are dealing with a whole nother loss. Five in your signs, Marianne Martinez reports from Florissant. At Sacred Heart Cemetery, this is known as the Children's Corner. He went way too soon. Kenny Peters is buried here. A baby just seven months old when he died last month, a case of SIDS. He was my world. He just, anybody who met him instantly fell in love. Just a beautiful baby boy. His parents, Ashley Peters and Kevin Lane, and their two-year-old daughter made these temporary gravestones for Kenny. One has a drawing of his favorite blue teddy bear. He just loves snuggles like a teddy bear. Because the ground here at the cemetery has been unstable, it's been muddy, it's been frozen, Kenny can't get his permanent headstone until the spring. That's why his family made the temporary ones. Ashley and Kevin place the stones at Kenny's grave on Sunday. When they returned on Monday to visit their son again, the stones were gone. I don't care who has them, I just want them back. Around Kenny's grave, Ashley saw tire tracks in mud. She says she believes someone drove through the cemetery and stole them. It's been really hard on all of us. And then with this happening, it's like we just can't catch a break. Ashley and her family searched all over and could not find the stones. It's just a mound of dirt and it's just sad to see. And though this is the place Kenny is buried, Ashley and Kevin know this. He didn't leave. He's in our hearts and he will stay in our hearts. In Florissant, Marianne Martinez, five on your side. If you have any information on where the headstones could be, contact the family. We've posted their information on KSDK.com.